between them have changed at the start of games these last four games since the lineup? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I think uh, um, TJ and Dwight were really running well tonight. I mean, they got down and they collapsed uh, the defense early, and they had uh, opened up lanes for other people to drive and, <coughs> and uh, had a lot of mismatches with their defense because they were out running their guys and guarding them to pick them up. So it, it created a lot more of a scramble opportunity for us to play um, off of breaks with them. So, I mean, I, uh, you know, TJ has been playing very, very well. And uh, you know, Dwight had a really just ultra effective, efficient night. I mean, he blocked everything early and really got off to a great start. Can you speak just to the importance of turning defense to offense early in the game? And just how that's going to be a strength of the teams you guys can do consistently? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if we can shore up our defensive rebounding, you know, which which um, something that we got to do. It, it, we're getting to miss on the first shot. Then, then we get out and run. I mean, that, that's when we're at our best when we're out running and pushing. And um, you know, the worst option, get the more opportunities you have to push. I thought that we had. I thought we were we had a lot of. Uh, we got to get our, we got our hands on a lot of balls, and a lot of steals. Um, there are, they had a lot of deflections and block shots around the rim. And just uh, just a lot of activity, and that activity on the defensive end uh, turned into offense for us. Coach, on Monday you said that you felt like your team hadn't caught rhythm yet. Do you feel like this was a closer step for that? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think we're hopefully we're starting. You know, I mean, it, 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 it's a it's a process, and, and but I do like I I, I thought I said before the game I thought the last couple of days were good for us to have a home game. You know, just have a rest day where everybody kind of just got away, have a good practice day, have a good shoot around, and you could just feel that we were building, you know, some some rhythm. And, and you know, we really had a hectic schedule, so a lot of the corrections we've been making our corrections on the fly, and uh, uh, I think the guys have done a really good job of being um, attentive and, and, and you know, and, 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 and making corrections. And, you know, we, we still got a long way to go, but we're getting better all the time. That, that that's the encouraging thing is that you know we, we have a, we have a lot of room for uh, for improvement still. But I can feel us uh, starting to gel a little bit. Was it noteworthy to you that once you got the first quarter lead, you maintained it and never let them run back into the game? Yeah, you know, I, yes, it was. I mean, we we have not done a very good job of that, and uh, we were able to sustain sustain more. Um, I think. Uh, you know, again, like I said, as we get going, and, and hopefully everybody uh, uh, starts getting more comfortable with everything we're running and their roles and everything, that we can start gelling, and that's what we have to do. We have to, you know, we have to gel as a team, and it's just, uh, I think a lot of times people want that to happen overnight, and you know, it, just, it takes some time. Is that what you talked about when you meant when you talked about wanting to see more consistency, some of those things coming together? Yeah, I mean, you know, just consistent effort every single night, you know, not. Um, not getting into the uh, worrying about the last play and I was open, he didn't see me, you know, I did, who didn't have the cover on Next play, next play, it's the next play, and just make our corrections as we go. If they're hurting us with something, we'll, we'll make a major correction, but normally, um, you know, defensively, I just stay in our system, try to do what we do, and, um, you know, just, just, just keep competing. That, that, that's kind of what I want to see the guys do, just, just going out there and keep competing every possession. Ken, what's the, um, the reason Omer didn't play much tonight, and uh, what does he need to do to get back into your rotation? Yeah, you know, we got a game again tomorrow night. We'll see where it goes. Um, just, uh, you know, the guys are, everybody everybody, everybody out there is playing, and, you know, time, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see where the time goes with, uh, with Omer. Coach, I know it's early with uh, TJ in the starting lineup, but do you think he's ahead of schedule based on the performance of the last couple of nights? He's playing, I think he's playing really well. I think he's playing really well every chance he's got. You know, I mean, he's, 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 he's really been a uh, big rebounding for us. He's been running well for us. You know, he's, he's got really good hands. He catches, he finishes around the basket. He can dribble hand up. He can play make. He can do some stuff on the perimeter that keeps our keeps the defense more stretched. And so he does, you know, T Terrence does a lot of really good things and um, for us. And yeah, he's just going to get better. He's a young, he's a young, young guy. He's uh, Really a nice kid, nice young man, uh, good basketball player. He's just going to continue to improve. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. No